Well, good morning, everybody. I'm out on the 2020 Sherco 300 SEF factory up here in the mountains, Utah, and doing some more testing on this bike as I build time on it. So, since I last rode the bike, I, I just left the truck about 15 minutes ago or so, so kind of gotten warmed up. Um, today's trail is a lot more uh, fast and less rocky. I mean, there are some rocks, but not on the really on the trail right here where we're at. A few roots and a few rocks you gotta watch out for. Since I last rode this bike, I guess it was about 12 days ago. Um, since that time, I have made some changes to it. So, I got really sore after the last time I rode the bike, like really sore. More sore than I'd been in a long time. And I wasn't sure if it was because I took such a long break off the bike before, which is probably a big part of it. Um, but I was so sore, it got me thinking about the foot pegs made me think because my hamstrings were so freaking tight and I think it's because part of the reason is because I've gotten used to um, not having to squeeze quite so hard on all of my other bikes because every single other bike I've had in the last three years I went back and checked has had foot pegs that had an upward camber the Sherco foot pegs no upward camber on them so um, I went out and bought with my own money some Fastway foot pegs. Maybe I'll roll in a shot of them right now. I went out and bought, oh boy. Get your balance, Brotherson. Went out and bought some Fastway foot pegs because then I'd be able to adjust the camber. Now, the fit on them isn't perfect on this Sherco because in order for me to get the camber adjusted the way I want, um, the foot pegs have a little bit of a bat a backward sweep to them which is it doesn't look super great although on the bike I don't think I can feel it through the foot pegs that there's a little bit of a backward sweep to them in their full down position I don't think I can feel that but I do think it makes a difference for me in order to kind of lock me in on the bike and make it so I don't have to squeeze quite so freaking hard with my legs. I think that helps to, helps you to conserve energy. And I think that's why everyone else is doing it. I'm not sure if the reason why Sherco is, puts them flat is because of a trials thing. Um, I'm gonna have to go back and look. I actually own two trials bikes. I have a Sherco trials bike and a gas gas straws like I hardly ever do anything on them but I need to go back and look but I'm pretty sure that they both have upward camber on those those bikes so I don't know kind of weird the other thing that I did don't you love these videos where I just spout off things forever the other thing that I did last night is I dropped my forks down in the triple clamps three millimeters so that should lengthen the bike out and should actually make it a little bit more stable. Now, you might be saying, well, is three millimeters really gonna do anything? Can, will you even be able to tell? And the answer is yes, I can tell. I can tell that the three millimeters um, has certainly had an effect on the bike and it's had the effect that I wanted. It's got the bike a little bit more stable. And funny enough, I'm, I'm glad I didn't go any more than three millimeters because with stability,
comes a heavy feeling on the front of the bike. So it's actually kind of shocking how much that, how much of a difference that made. Now I did use my calipers uh, to make sure that I was exactly the same on both sides. And then I also did my axle trick. What I do is I, I remove that when I'm doing these and adjusting these, I will remove the front um, wheel and I'll put my front axle back in. My forks are in alignment up on the top. I've done a very good job of aligning them as far as up and down because this can go and slide through really easily side to side and it can spin really freely here. So I know I'm good to go. And I adjust it, I measure things, and then I also just make sure that the uh, front axle can spin. It's not bound up at all. That's the easy way to do it out there in the wild. If you're gonna do it out in the wild and you wanna adjust your forks up or down, uh, the layman's way to measure it is just to use your axle and make sure it, it's, uh, it can free spin. I double checked it because I was using calipers and the axle so I know it's in alignment. So that's nice. But yeah, major effect on the... Oh, oh I kicked something with my foot there. There's all these hidden jams, roots, and rocks on the side of the trail that are just covered up. So glad I've got my uh, Garnet SG-12 boots on today. By the way, I freaking love these Garnet SG-12s. If they're not the best boots I've ever had, they're, uh, they're right up there equal. The only other boots that I've liked this much are my uh, CDs and time to replace the CDs. They were getting a little worn down. Wasn't getting quite as much um, support as I used to. So anyway, those are the things I'm playing around with today. Foot pegs and the forks. And so far, so good on both of them. They're both having the desired effect. And you know, for this, for this type of trail, and you can almost move the forks right back up. Like if, if I had the forks in the stock position for this type of trail, it probably would, would be even slightly better because it would make the bike feel a little bit lighter. And since I don't have it's not like incredibly rocky. The bike isn't being bounced all over. I think that the stock position of the forks might actually be a little bit more desirable. But it just goes to show you the bike setup is so critically important. And we're talking three millimeters on those forks it has a major effect. Three millimeters on the forks has a, that one's so bloody tight. And I got all these rocks here. But yeah, three millimeters on your forks can make a world of difference. Just makes me wonder, makes me wonder what things I'm going to start to play around with in five years from now. You know, because five years ago, I wouldn't have known to do either of these things. Even four years ago, three years ago, it was kind of like, like right when I was figuring out like fork height. And it was actually the Sherco, the 2017 Sherco 300 SEF. Uh, I guess it was the same bike. I thought it was the 300 SCFR right then, factory edition, and now this is just the 300 SCF factory. But that's what we're up to. Peace out, boys.